hello students here we have a question under the topic project network so we are constructing the project network the question is draw the project network for the following activities now here it is given a little different that is they have given the symbol greater than over here so first let me tell you always you remember whenever you have a symbol like this and whatever you have over here that is the over the greater part that will be the successor and whatever you have the other side of this symbol will be the predecessor and if the symbol is like this then whatever you have again in the greater part so this side it will be successor and whatever you have at this part will be predecessor so you remember this now here if you see e is greater than b comma c which means e is the successor or we can of b and c or we can also say that b and c are predecessors for e so first of all we will write this as activity and its predecessor so that after writing we can draw the network diagram more easily so now first activity what are the alphabets we have we have a b and then c d e f g h i j k so we have from a to k so all those we have to write under activity so i have written from a to k over here all the activities now let us write the predecessor of each activity now if you see b and c are the predecessor for the activity e so for the activity e b comma c so these are the predecessors for the activity f and g d is the predecessor so we have f here so d is a predecessor and also for the activity g d is a predecessor then h and i for the activity h and i the activities e and f are the predecessors so first we will write for h for h it is e and f are the predecessors and also for the activity i e and f are the predecessors next the activity i and g are the predecessors for the activity j so where do we have j here so activity i and g are the predecessors for the activity j h is the predecessor of k so h is the predecessor of the activity k and a is the predecessor for the activity b so a is the predecessor for the activity b the remaining activities will be hyphenated which means they do do not have a predecessor and these three that is the activity a c d will be the starting activities and these three activities will start simultaneously so now we have written the activities and its predecessors by using the given data so always remember whenever you have a greater symbol the greater part will be the successor and the one which is the lesser part will be the predecessor if it is in this way you have predecessor over here and successor over here here it was in this question it was given in this pattern so all these um uh, right to the right of the symbol with the predecessors and using that we have Uh, written the activities and its predecessor over here now using this data let us draw the network diagram so to begin with what are the initial activities activity a c and d are the initial activities and what are, what are the end activities we have to see in this predecessor list in this list we have a b c d e f g h and i but we do not have j and we do not have k so j and k will be the end activities because after they do not have successors that is the reason 
that J and K will be the end activities. So first we have decided what will be the starting activity and what will be the ending activity. So now after making this decision we have to draw the network diagram. To start with first we have activity A and it does not have a predecessor. So let us start with that activity. So first we are beginning with activity A. So this is activity A. It does not have a predecessor and then this is completed the next is activity B now for the activity B A is the predecessor so because A is the predecessor and we haven't completed any of the other activities so we need not check for the activity which comes along with it so we can just go ahead uh, so the activity A is the predecessor for activity B so this is A so from this node we have to draw the activity B so this is activity B so first we will draw a rough diagram and then we will make a fair of it then so this is completed next we have to draw activity C which does not have a predecessor so we can draw it in this manner but before drawing it we should also check whether this activity appears along with any other activity which has been completed so activity C if you see it has appeared here in this predecessor list and it has appeared along with the activity B but activity B is already completed so therefore we have to start activity C from here because it does not have a predecessor and we have to complete this activity C over here because it appears along with B in the predecessor list. Already I have explained very clearly about this concept in our previous videos. I have already uploaded problem 1 and problem 2. If you uh, view those two videos, you will understand why we are uh, drawing this activity C from this node to this node. Okay. So now activity A, B, C are over. Next we have to draw the activity D. Now D does not have a predecessor. So it has to start from this node which does not have a predecessor. Then we should check in the predecessor list whether D has appeared with any other activity which has been already completed. So when we check for that we observe that D has appeared twice but it has not appeared with any other activity both has up, have appeared separately only so we, we need not worry in this case so we can just draw a, a new activity with uh, this as the starting node so this is activity d so we have completed activity d also next we have to move on to activity e now if you see the activity E has two predecessors that is B and C. So we have to start with this node. Then we have to check whether E has appeared with any other activity which has been completed. So if we check E has appeared here as well as here. But it has appeared with the activity F which, which has not been constructed so far. So we need not worry about it now because F has not been constructed so far. So we can just directly draw this activity E having B and C as the predecessor. So I am just drawing activity E. So this is activity E. Now this activity is, is completed. Next we have to move on to activity F. So now if you see the predecessor for the activity F is D. And so the starting point of the activity F should be this node. So this node will be the starting point because D is the predecessor of F. Then what we should do? We should uh, check for F in the predecessor list whether it has appeared along with any other activity. So when we check, yes, it has appeared here as well as here. It has appeared with along with the activity E. So, if you see E has been already constructed, in that case, the ending node for the activity F will be this node. So, the starting node for the activity F is this and the ending node for the activity F will be this because it has appeared along with the activity which has been already completed. So, from this node to this node, we have to draw the activity F. So, this is completed now. 
So now we have completed the activity F also. Next we have to move on to the activity G. So if you see the predecessor for the activity G is D. So the starting point for the activity G has to be this node. So uh, this is the predecessor. Then what we should do? We should check whether G has appeared with any other activity in this predecessor list. So if we check for it, yes, it has appeared here. But it has appeared with an activity which is not constructed so far. So now we need not worry about the uh, ending point of G because I is not constructed still. So making this as the starting point as D is the predecessor for, uh, for G, we have to draw the activity G. So I am drawing from this node an activity till here. So this is activity G. So now we have constructed the activity G also. Next we have to draw the activity H. Now the predecessor for H is E and F. So where is E and F? Over here. So activity E and activity F. So this should be the starting point for the activity H. Next what we should do? We should check whether H has appeared in any of the predecessor list along with any other activity. So if we check so, it has, it has appeared only once but there is no activity along with it. So we can just directly draw the activity H. So I am drawing it here. So this is activity H. So the activity H has been completed. Next we have to move on to the activity I. I the pre predecessor for I is E and F. So these two are the predecessors. So this will be the starting point for I. And to know the ending point, we should check in the predecessor list whether I has appeared along with any other activity. Yes, I has appeared along with another activity G. And G is an activity which has been already constructed. So if it is already constructed, then the end node of G will become the end node of I. So uh, the starting node for the activity G is this node because its predecessor is E and F. And its ending node is this node. So we have the activity I over here. So this is activity I. So activity I is also completed. And finally we have the activity J. And the um, uh, predecessor for activity J is I and G. So, uh, it, so I and G are the predecessor. And if you see J is an end, act, uh, end activity. So obviously it will be. It will be the end node. So from that is J is an end activity. So from uh, which which has predecessor I and J. So the starting point for the activity J will be this. And let us draw me an end uh, draw an end node here. So this is activity J. So after the activity J. So this is completed. The final activity K we have to draw. And K is also the end activity so it has to get completed with this node because this is the end node so now the predecessor for k is h so this is the activity h and so it will be like this so therefore this is activity k so therefore finally j and k are the end activities and we have drawn all the activities as per the given data so now let us name them so this will be 1 then 2 and 3 and then 4 and then 5 this is 6 and 7 and 8 so as per the order of the nodes i have given the numbers so this is the, this is how we have to draw the network diagram so we can draw neatly with a scale and uh, equally spaced in a uh, fr fresh diagram so this is a rough diagram you can make it fair but this should the, this should be the network connection so hope you have understood how to draw the network thank you